Hi, my name is Mark DeFrank. Welcome to Fly Tying with DeFrank's Flies. In this segment, we're going to be tying the Harry Stone. It features a dubbing that's made by Hairline, and it's a blend of rabbit with siliconized legs. It comes in 12 colors, and it's available in the dubbing dispenser with all 12 colors, or you can get it per bag. Your choice of color. Uh, it really gives a great buggy appearance to a fly and br brings some life to it also. I've had a blast tying with it. So what do you say, let's get started tying the hairy stuff. Okay, we're going to start our thread base just behind the eye. I've pulled the bead back. We're going to do it underneath the bead there. Let's just lay a thread base down. And the biots will have a natural curve to it, so we want them to curve out. So we're going to start on the far side. Go around lightly, pull straight towards you, lock it in, make a few tight wraps. And on the near side, curve out, even the tips up, go over easy, pull straight away from you, lock it in with a few tight wraps. Right, let's go ahead and trim the excess away. This is a dot uni thread too. It's not going to bulk it up, so I can get that bead back over. I'm just going to do a little whip finish there, trim the thread off, pull our bead back up, and restart our thread. We want a nice tight thread base here, so our lead doesn't spin around on us. Let's go ahead, work that back to the bend of the hook where we're going to tie in our tails. thousandths lead on this. Do the front half up to the bead. Break that off. Fold that down back there. Now to splay my tails out, I just use a little bit of dubbing. Very small amount. Create a little ball of dubbing back there. right behind where we're going to tie in our tails. Now I make these about the length of what the gap of the hook is. Place it on the far side. Bring your index finger over. Hold it in place. Go over lightly. Pull straight towards you. Make a few tight wraps. near side, even the tips up, hold it in place, go over easy, pull away from you, lock it in place. You have nice played out tails, and then we're just going to go ahead and tie down the butt section. Now, with just a continuously counter wrap, twist my thread, I mean, with my bob, and to get the twist out that I'm putting in as I wrap my thread around the shank of the hook. So I go counterclockwise, that's what I'm doing. And that gives you thread control. You can see it's not twisting up a lot as I alleviate the pressure here with my bobbin. That's what I'm doing. So I get the twist out before I create this dubbing loop that we're gonna make. I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach. You can see I can let go of that thread now. It's not twisting all up on me. So I have control when I go ahead and do this dubbing loop. I'm going to go ahead and apply some wax. And we'll go ahead and start to put some of this dubbing on here. You're going to lose some of it. Just let it fall to the bench. You can collect it later after you're done. Don't worry about getting it perfect. You're going to lose some of it. We'll collect it at the end.
go ahead and start the twist out. Answer our thread a little bit. As I start to get up here, I'm going to start to pull back on that dubbing a little, keep some of those rubber legs out from getting pinned down. Run out, you can always add just a little bit more. We'll just make another little dubbing loop. back on that as you make these few last wraps. This is a hen back, just mottled brown. I'm going to tie it at the tip. You can see the curvature of it. We want to tie it in like this naturally so it's laying back naturally. Tie that in. Tight wraps. And as I wrap this, I'm just going to comb that back. finishes.